faster than big. Yeah. <laughs> All right, in the time for your lunch break. Yes, your produce man, Michael Marks, is here. Hello, good morning. Are we talking nopales? This is one of my favorite side dishes. Well, you know, uh, Lent begins on Wednesday, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we got Fat Tuesday tomorrow and then Lent. So what are you going to give up? Some people may give up social media. Uh, mm. Some people may give up sugar. Some people may give up Captain Crunch. I don't know. Uh, uh, but a lot of people give up meat, so I thought I'd take down, uh, take a walk through the produce aisle and grab one of the best meat substitutes that mm -hmm. you can possibly find. This is called Nepalis. Now, I know what everybody's thinking out there. Come on, you went down to the desert and grabbed a cactus <laughs> pack, right? Exactly what that yes. looks like. It is the coolest thing. You go down to Salinas, California, and uh, you, you expect to see you expect to see lettuce and broccoli, and up on this hill you see all these cactus plants mm -hmm. growing down in in the Garden Valley of California. Unbelievable. So this is a Nepalis uh, cactus pad, mm -hmm. very very healthy. Let me tell you what's in this stuff: vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C. Vitamin K, calcium, iron, potassium, you name it, it's in there. Now, how do you deal with this? Oh, my goodness. Uh, first of all, be very, very careful. Yes. These still have the thorns on them. See those thorns right there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yikes. That would hurt. So, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to grab very carefully at the very bottom. You're going to cut off the edges just like this so you can get a lot of those thorns off. You with me so far? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, you just cut the edges off. Then you take the knife and you backtrack it back like this. Get all all of those thorns off is every single one of them. And what do you do with Nepalis? The possibilities are endless. What do you do? Yes, the possibilities are endless. I chopped them up just like this. Huevos con Nopales, so you can have omelets in the morning uh, with uh, Nopales instead of meat. Uh, how about fajitas? Yes. So you thin slice them, and that, now that's your strips of beef in your fajitas. Oh. Uh, how about your nachos? How about that? Yeah, that's put nice. them on top of your nachos. Uh, they'd make them into marmalades. Put them in soups and stews. You can eat them raw in a salad. Very, very cool. Uh, what do they taste like? Uh, kind of like something between a green bean and a green bell pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Kind of that sli little sliminess yeah. to them. But there they are. Delicious. Great meat substitute. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to be giving up meat, my mom is a vegan, so we have this a lot. Oh, um, and we make them into tacos, or you can yeah. also use them in, as a topping. So you can fry them like a bell pepper. You or grill you, them. You grill them. Oh, yeah. Grill. Okay. Grill them. Okay. But that's a, one of my earliest oh. memories of uh, as in, as a child. Is cutting off those thorns with my grandfather. Oh my Good. gosh. Yeah, wow. he used to make those all the time. So thank you, you very much. Okay. I just learned a whole lot. Right? <laughs> They're so delicious. Yeah. All right, let's talk.